first things I realized from a production standpoint in the cow-calf business was that fertility drove everything. I can look at end product merit, I can look at weaning weights, but if I don't have a live calf to start with and a cow that's bred back, all of that goes out the window. So I said, how can I use the Hereford Bull as a tool to improve uh, the base of my Angus cow herd? And with our strong base, it just made sense to use the Hereford Bull uh, in order to influence the Angus cow to make her better. The one merit I knew I couldn't give up was in product merit. Uh, because of our connections to U.S. Premium Beef and the cattle feeding sector, I knew at the end of the day, regardless of what I wanted to do in the cow herd, she had to do both. She had to raise a calf, but that calf couldn't go to the feed yard and not gain, couldn't could not uh, convert on feed and and by owning cattle all the way through the production chain I knew that I didn't want to give up any yield any uh, uh, added end product merit the criteria was not for a horn bull or a pulled bull but a good bull and I think in today's beef business that that sometimes we lose focus on black, red, pulled, horned, and that good is good, and all of this is a tool at the end of the day to make the consumer happy. We focus on Angus and Hereford genetics to build our maternal cow herds, feed efficiency, ability to forage well, low maintenance requirements, and ability to raise a calf and, and have good weaning links are all critically important. The color marker and the ability to be able to tell cattle that have Hereford influence is, is kind of a big deal for us. Fertility is huge because our, our payday is, is calves, wean calves, so um, less bulls or higher fertility bulls can always drive that profitability equation. There are huge advantages in the Hereford breed, there's huge advantages in every breed. Let's allow every breed to do what it does best and capitalize on, on crossbreeding and the advantages that can, can be created for the entire industry. Maybe think a little bit out of the box, whether we're seed stock or commercial producers, and find ways to make the whole industry more profitable.